As soon as Chrissy steps outside, Tyson's a boxer by name, boxer by nature, raring to get in the ring with any dog he sees. Immediately walking out of that door, he's on high alert. If he sees another dog, pulling and tugging and jumping about and barking, just generally acting erratic and crazy. And it's taking its toll physically. I've been experiencing joint pains. They're progressively getting worse as well. I struggle more now to manage Tyson because managing him means putting myself in pain to restrain him. I'm at my last tether with this. It's basically down to crunch time now. If Tyson doesn't hang up his gloves, he could find himself knocked out of the family. Now, I love boxers because they are energetic, they're playful, they're really intelligent, but they're also super strong. And it sounds like Tyson is living up to his name. Hello. I cannot see anything wrong with your dogs whatsoever, but I know I've come for this boy. So tell me a little bit about the issues. Yeah, so Tyson here, as soon as we go out, he's looking for other dogs. As soon as he spots them, he is aggressively pulling on the lead. He's yanking me about, he's barking. Well, I would like to go see that behavior. So there's a dog in the distance there. And he's clocked it. He is up. That nose is going. He's puffing his cheeks out, beginning to lick. His breathing has already started to go. And then the fighting tour really begins. Enough. No, no, no. Scarlet. I'm Sit taking down. Scarlet with me. Yeah. Not happening. Let's just walk back. Come on, let's go. You can't have him running up to every dog that he sees, um, but yet you have him on the lead, and this frustration builds up. I think there's a solution. I'm going to give you some plans, some potential solutions that will help you. It's definitely going to start you on the road to, I think, a much easier life, both for you and your dog. Good. Okay? Yep. Are you ready then? Yes, let's do this. All right. Complete mixed emotions here. Is this going to work, you know? And do I have it in me to give Tyson what he needs for him to thrive and fix this? Walking is a nightmare for you. And I don't think it's that fun for him. No. As soon as he's in that mood, you've lost him. Yeah. All you can do is turn around and leave. So we need to get him before he gets there. Okay. And that is why we're doing this training. And I call it, hey, where's the dog? I look at the dog, look back at you. We have this predictable sequence. And it takes the emphasis off that dog and puts more of the emphasis on you working together as a team. At first, Victoria is using a brightly coloured bottle to represent the distraction. In Tyson's case, another dog. I'm going to take an object that's behind my back. I need him to look at it and then look away at me. Yes! And he's going to get a piece of food. Simple as that. Yes! Immediately, he looked at the object, looked away real fast. And then after a while, I'm going to put a cue. I'm going to say, it's like a little phrase, where's the bottle? Okay? Where's the bottle? Yes. Where's the bottle? Yes. So, I want you to try it. Teaching Tyson to look back at Chrissy every time he sees a distraction in this case, the bottle, is helping create a new pattern. He's learning every time he sees something unusual, if he looks back to Chrissy instead of going towards it, he gets a reward. That's all we can hope for at this stage. Don't even say with the cue words. Your timing is great. Yes. Nice. Yes. Well done. It's very quick, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very quick. I don't know if when we take it outside and there's another dog, if this is going to work, right? But I've had great success with this, so we'll see, okay? All right. All right. We practiced in the house where we produced a novel object and he was able to 
look, turn away from that object and look at you. And that's basically telling him you engage with this and then immediately disengage and look at me. We're now going to introduce a dog. Fellow trainer Lily is standing by with her non-reactive dog Jasper at the far end of the field. So I know he's going to clock the dog and immediately he clocks the dog. Then we have to go to work. All right. Sees the other dog. Here we go. Tyson, yes. Good boy. All right. Training at yes. home with the bottle to look at the distraction and look back seems to have built a solid foundation. But what if Victoria and Tyson move a little closer? We're getting a lot closer. He's not barking and lunging, but Tyson's focus on the dog is proving difficult to break. He looks at the dog and goes, oh, boy. <laughs> no, he did it. Saw it. <laughs> oh, you did the best. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. This is teamwork with your dog. Teamwork. Come here, Mama. Take over. Now it's time for Chrissy to give it a go. Good. He adores you. He adores you. That's it. Just walk a little bit. Let him clock. If he doesn't turn back by himself, then give him a little hey, Tyson. OK, you've got to get him now. Tyson, that's it. Perfect. Move, move with him. Move with him. Let's go. That's it. Here. Go. Tyson still needs encouragement to look away from the dog, but Chrissy is able to get his attention before he reacts, which is a big step in the right direction. Yes! Oh, what's up there? That's enough for today. Okay. I thought you did very well. Well, that was such a difference in him. <laughs> you could still see he was conflicted back and forth, but really? he knew what he had to do. How are you feeling? Me and Tice are going to have to really keep working at it. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, he's he's responded so well to it. So I feel very positive that that's only going to get better. So slow and steady wins this race. Yeah. Good luck, all right? Yes. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.